Fire appears in the Bible as one of the most vivid and powerful symbols of God's presence, His judgment, and His refining work. From the earliest stories of Genesis to the final chapters of Revelation, fire both reveals and conceals the mystery of the divine. We begin with Moses and the burning bush, a flame that burns yet does not consume. In Exodus 3, Moses encounters this strange sight while tending sheep. And from the flames, God speaks, calling Moses to lead his people out of slavery. The fire reveals God's holiness, his power, and his presence. But more than that, it demonstrates that while his presence is overwhelming, it does not destroy those who approach in reverence. Throughout the journey of the Israelites, God's fire continues to lead them. As they escape Egypt and wander through the wilderness, Exodus 13 tells us God appears as a pillar of fire by night. This pillar guides them, providing warmth and light. The fire is a symbol of protection, reminding the Israelites that God is always near, leading them on the right path. A fire is not only a symbol of God's guidance, it's also a tool of his judgment. In Genesis 19, we see the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. God rains down fire and brimstone, wiping out these cities steeped in wickedness. The fire here represents divine judgment, a consuming force that eradicates sin and leaves no trace of the corruption that was once there. The fire of judgment appears again when the prophets speak. In Amos 1.4, God declares that he will send fire upon the walls of Damascus, burning down fortresses. Again, in Isaiah 30, we see that God's breath is compared to a stream of brimstone setting fire to nations. Fire in these instances symbolizes God's righteousness and his wrath against sin and injustice. Yet fire is not just destructive, it's also purifying. In Malachi 3, we hear the prophets speak of God as a refiner's fire. The refiner heats metal until it melts, separating out the impurities to leave behind pure gold or silver. This is the fire of purification, not meant to destroy, but to cleanse. God uses this fire to purify his people, to burn away the dross of sin and leave behind a refined, holy people. Zechariah 13.9 speaks of this same refining process. He says, I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. Here, fire is a metaphor for the trials and difficulties that purify our faith. This theme of fire as refining continues in the New Testament. At Shavuot, or Pentecost, in Acts 2, tongues of fire appear above the heads of the disciples. This fire represents the Holy Spirit descending upon them, empowering them to speak in new languages and proclaim the gospel boldly. The fire does not consume them, it fills them, igniting their hearts with zeal for God's mission. The New Testament also speaks of fire in terms of judgment and purification. In 1 Corinthians 3, Paul tells us that our works will be tested by fire. What we build in this life, whether of lasting value or selfish ambition, will be revealed through the flames. Anything that does not align with God's kingdom will be burned away, leaving only what is pure. Finally, as we look toward the book of Revelation, fire plays a critical role in the imagery of the end times. Revelation 20 describes the lake of fire, the place where Satan, death, and all who reject God will meet their final judgment. Here, fire is the ultimate symbol of divine justice, a final separation of good from evil, from righteousness, from sin. But even in Revelation, fire is not just about judgment. In Revelation 21, after fire has purged the world of evil, we see a new heaven and a new earth where God's presence dwells among his people forever. The fire has purified all things, preparing the way for God's eternal kingdom of peace and holiness. From the burning bush to the lake of fire, fire in the Bible is rich with meaning. It reveals God's holiness, his judgment, his protection, 
and his purification. Fire is both the instrument of destruction and the means of renewal. And just as God spoke through the flames to Moses, he speaks to us through the fire of his word, calling us to be refined, purified, and ready for his presence.